We are in Backup Exec 20. I'm going to show you how to replace the default system account. So let's go into the upper left-hand corner and choose Configuration and Log On Settings, Manage Log On Accounts. So this is the default account that the server logs in with when it first uh, goes on to the, when you first open the program up on your server. So we no longer want to use this account because we want to use a new one. So let's go ahead and click on Add. And we'll put in the name of our domain because it is a domain controller. If it's not, you can just put in the name of the server. And then we'll put in the password that we're using. Very good. We'll uncheck it's a restricted account and say it is now our default account. So now it is the main one. So now we need to go to where it says system account here and take one additional step. Go log in there. And we can go ahead and say that this is a restricted account instead of being an unrestricted account. So now everything is good. So when we click OK, we've gone ahead and changed the default account. So now when we go to open Backup Exec 20, it's going to open using our new account. One other thing you're going to, going to want to do is double check that the services are set up right because by default it's going to start with the services from the original account. So we're going to go type in services.msc in the run box and then we're going to go to where it says backup exec. So we'll choose the first one here in the list, double click and go to log on and we're going to go to browse and we're going to make sure that we're using our active directory, which we are. Now we're going to type in administrator like that, check names, click OK, and now it says widget backslash administrator, apply. Oh, and we have to update the password as well. It did remind me of that. There we go. So it doesn't take effect until you stop and restart the service. So you're going to want to do that with each one of these that says backup exec and that it's, it has an account where it has log on. Now if it has log on with the system account then you don't have to make the change but if it has log on using this account then you have to make the change. So that's how you uh, update the system account in Backup Exec 20. This also works in previous versions in Backup Exec as well.